Hi guys and welcome to part 13 of my tutorial. I haven't uploaded for a while because I was on vacation. Anyway, this time we're gonna work on something totally different. We're gonna make a health bar by using a sprite and a script. Now note that there are many other ways of doing this, like using the built-in GUI, but I find it a lot easier easier to just work with sprites because the unity GUI isn't exactly perfect right now but luckily that's going to be updated hopefully in the coming update so let's begin by importing our health bar sprites and let's change some of the settings here like I always do and let's set the sprite mode to multiple open it up in the sprite editor and let's slice them now the sprite at the top is the actual health bar and the sprite at the bottom is the health container the health container will just stay where it is and uh, just show the player how big the health bar can be and the health bar will uh, shrink uh, by su by width so um, usually you should put the pivot on the left side but I'm gonna show you what happens when you keep the pivot in the center so let's apply this and let's add both sprites let's yeah add both sprites to the editor and let's make this one the child of that. Let's call this one the health container. And let's call this one the health bar. Okay. And let's make both of these. Oh. What did I do? I changed the skill. So it was one, right? Okay. Let's um position this one exactly at zero zero. And let's change the position of this one to where we want our health bar to be and then let's make it a child of player now there are some uh, consequences if you make health container a child of player it will always remain its relative distance uh, but it will also be gone if the player is gone right now I don't see any um, negative consequences if you make the health container child of player but of course I uh, I can understand if you don't want this in that way you can just give health container simple script and say uh, the position of health container is the position of uh, the player with a bit of an offset so that's not so hard but I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna just I'm just gonna make it the child of player and if we start our scene you can see that it's following everywhere uh, the player walks to so let's begin by making script new script and let's call this one player health that's a good name Um, let's put player health in our script folder and let's open it up in mono develop I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible we're gonna need um, we won't need a lot of variables so we'll need a public 
load we'll just call it health normally I would call it player health but the script is already called player health so we don't want um, that hindrance that difficulty uh, let's also make a private sprite renderer and let's call this one health bar and let's make a private vector tree and let's call this one health skill okay in the start what function we're gonna assign health bar and health skill so health bar is gonna be the game object dot find it's gonna be string so we're gonna need the exact same name game object find health bar with the right capitals uh, dot get component and we're gonna need the sprite renderer component sprite renderer and it's a function so you should um okay i think that's good now we're gonna also assign health skill and health skill is gonna be the health bar which we assigned above health skill and it's gonna be the health bar dot uh, transform dot local skill okay in our update function we're gonna make a few conditions if the player health no if just the health um, gets lower or is equal to zero we want uh, our application to quit but of course this is the editor so you can see that when uh, you die inside the unity editor you should build it and then run it to try it out so let's just make a debug log to be sure it's working and the game should quit right now so we're gonna read that in the console later on and we're gonna make another condition and we're gonna make it if the health gets bigger than 100 the maximum amount of health you should make this a variable if you're gonna update the if you're gonna have a game where you can upgrade the health bar like make it bigger or something like that you should make this uh, if health gets bigger than um, a variable like maximum HP then um, health is equal to maximum HP or in our case 100 so that's just to keep the health at the maximum range and not causing it to get bigger so outside of update let's make a separate function uh, we're gonna call it health update and let's make help bar dot transform dot local skill gonna make that equal to a new factor tree um, and a new factor tree is going to have the health skill the one we assigned here and that's the normal width so the width you're seeing right here we're gonna do that times the health our current health and gonna do that times 0 0.01 F 
and um, so when we have uh, maximum health in our case 100 we're gonna do 100 times 0 0.01 so that's going to be this part is going to be 1 and we're going to do that times the health scale the normal width at max HP the width you're seeing here if we have uh, half of our HP left so f 50 health in our case then we're gonna do 50 times 0 0.01 that's gonna be 0 0.5 uh, and that's going to result in the half of the health scale so you're gonna see the health shrinking to this size so that's the principle behind it um, let's also put the new function in our update function and let's save this because I think we're finished and let's start the game but we're gonna we have a minor uh, error we forget we forgot oh. we put the wrong sign there so we have another error 32 we got an error the best overloaded method match for has some invalid arguments argument 1 version to float Hmm. That seems like a serious error. Health bar dot transform dot local scale is a new factor tree. Health scale. Of course, this must be health scale dot x because we want the width, not the not the whole height and uh, depth thing. So if we save it right now and clear, we don't get an error. And if we run the game and change the health hopefully we'll see the health bar shrinking let's actually make the camera a bit uh, closer so if we make the health lower then we see it shrinks but we see it shrinking on both sides and why is that because our pivot is still in the center so let's change that uh, at sprites open the sprite editor again and change the pivot to left if we hit apply and start the game again let's zoom in with the camera again oh we gotta we gotta change it position a bit because the pivot is now at a different location so just change this a bit ah. 7, 8, yeah that's ok so let's start it and let's zoom in with the camera again and let's change the health and as you can see it's now shrinking on only one side and when we are at about 50 health the health bar is exactly the half of the normal width and when we make it 120 the health automatically change to 100 because we have that in our script and when we make our health 0 we should get a console error yeah the game should quit right now because we have no health or 0 health and when we make it 1 console error should stop yes so yeah um, that's it for this time guys so uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.